our first guest is one of the most fascinating young stars out right now, DC Young Fly. Um, DC has had what they call a meteoric rise in his career. I mean, this, this guy is on fire. That big smile there, it's landed a lot of fans. He's got huge social media following after the app Vine he took off. Then MTV's long-running hit show, Wild and Out. He steals the show every time. And now his great success has landed him two major projects, a movie with the icon Eddie Murphy. And I love that now he is one of the youngest to host a game show on in history, and he's got a comedy tour. He is extremely busy, so fascinating. But like the rest of the world, over the summer, I saw the headlines. DC Young Fly's resilience was put to the test in front of the world when he lost his partner, fellow Wild and Out superstar, Jackie O, who passed away after complications from cosmetic surgery. Together, they share three beautiful children. And now in a daytime exclusive, DC is ready to talk about his life behind the mic and how he is using that mic to help find a path forward. He is an incredible talent, bringing joy, bringing life to everything that he does. Please welcome the legend now in the making, DC Youngfly! You're trying to live up to the name Young Fly hey, here. I see you. Oh my, you. God. Check the ankles. oh my God! Check the ankles. Check the ankles. Check the ankles. Are they moisturized? Uh, <laughs> not the left one. Not the left one. We good. <laughs> Nick Cannon told me to ask. I'm just saying. Nick sent that. Congratulations Thank on so Celebrity much. Squares. Thank you so You're much. You're one of the youngest in history to host a game show. They said. Yes, yes. Y'all must know that. Making history. It's Black History. <laughs> First of all, I, I love all of the looks, all of the... You're just bringing a lot of flavor hey, to man, this show. Hey, man, shout out to my stylist mode, man. You <laughs> dig what I'm saying? <laughs> but now we're just trying to keep it, uh, you know, keep it fresh. But, you know, shout out to Steve Harvey and all yeah. the, the greats who showed us and, you know, kind of, like, made the blueprint on saying, you know what, yeah. if you want to take it serious and you want to do it for a long time... Yeah. This is how you do it. Yeah, yeah, yeah that's true. This is how you do it. Your work ethic is crazy, to your yes, point. I mean, you start off on this app, Vine, and yes, then you're looking at the long run, because there are a lot of people who start hot. Yeah. And then you're like, what, what happened to them? Uh, when you look at social media nowadays, there's so many people that just want viral moments, yeah. you know? And even those was happening back then, I always said, bro, I'm trying to get a TV show out of this. It's something Why did you this. want a TV show out of it? Because I just wanted people to, to know my life, and then I come from a theater background. You mm -hmm. know, and it was like, I, I, I want to be able to, to showcase my talent and show the world that I, I really do entertain. That there was more to you than this yeah. little app was able to capture. Yeah, but it was six seconds. But you had to be smart. <laughs> you know what I mean? It was like, if, if, if your video went too long, four seconds, you like, oh, man, I got to delete it. You know so what I'm saying? So you six seconds to get it right, or you going to be gone. Six seconds, or you, you out of here. But you know what? Yeah. It's kind of like the new modern-day TikTok. Yeah, it is. It's quick, fast, fast, and, you know, and I transitioned from, from Vine and went to Instagram because yeah. they had more seconds. I said, you know what? If I could do this in six, what can I do in 12? I like the way you think. Okay, so you know I like to take people behind the mic. Right. And we had a conversation. That's our private conversation right. just yesterday. Right. But one of the things I said, you don't have to say what you said. Right. I said, I don't know how to greet you because I didn't know whether to say congratulations or condolences. Right. And I was so torn. I've been meditating it over days mm -hmm. because I, I see what you're doing and you're coming out and you bring joy. Everybody's smiling when you walk out. But I also know I spent a lot of time looking at the pictures of your three beautiful kids, right. looking at you and Jackie O and knowing I think you said a quote about reality. Right. And this is reality. Right. Your job, your work, is what's keeping you focused. Right. We all go through grief. Mm -hmm. And people grieve in different ways. And that's one of the things I learned uh, being a journalist for so many years. Does the work and having the joy of the work and being able to go to the kids and say, look, I've got this show and dad is keeping going, is that part of the grieving process? 
part of the grieving process. Still, I don't know to this day because I'm learning. It's, I'm six months in. This is a forever thing. So I may feel differently in two years. I may feel differently in 10, but I'm just thankful that God allowed me to continue. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> uh, and I understand my calling and I understand my purpose. What is the calling? The calling is, you know, I'm put here on this earth for a, 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 a higher purpose which is to entertain the world, but also show the world where it's coming from. You know, it's coming from the most high. And I'm an example, because now you got to see me go through trauma and still continue with my job. And I appreciate people like y'all because God brings people to me who need to hear what I got to say. You know what? You said that because I we've been wanting you on the show for some time. Right. And one of the things, you said the word trauma, and I didn't want you to think I wanted you on to talk to you about trauma. Right. Because I always tell people, the guests that are meant for me, come on this show. Right. Because they come to talk. Right. And I was very pleased that you said, I want to talk about both. Right. Because they, they're both real. Right. I see you before you go on stage. There's a photo that you posted of you praying on your knees. Right. The guy that's smiling on Wild and Out and on this new game show, that's him too. Right. What are you praying for I'm at this time in particular? Let me take you back. Before everything, before everything popped off, I come from a praying background. My father was a pastor, my mother was a teacher, but it's not like the perfect picture. We living in the hood and dealing with the hood yeah. activities, but prayer is a powerful thing. And when you have a solid foundation, <laughs> when, you, when you have a solid foundation, the, the, the word gives you the doctrines and the, uh, the ways and how you should live your life. Mm -hmm. Nobody's perfect. <laughs> I'm not here to sit here and tell you I'm perfect. I'm, I'm just, uh, you know, I'm just like everybody else, but I'm righteous. What does that mean? What's the difference? Righteous mean you're standing on morals and you're standing on what you believe in. A lot of people act off impulse. I may want to do something off impulse, but the spirit will stop me and make me turn the other way. <laughs> you know? And when you see me entertain, when you see me continue to keep going and do anything for you guys, is God telling me to continue to push, continue to keep going. And we don't pick our trauma. You don't know what's gonna happen tomorrow. You don't know what's gonna happen two days from now. But when it do happen, the only thing that you can control is how you react to it.